Hey everyone, this is the Crypto Mo Show and I'm your host Mo. Today's video will talk about three tips and tricks to follow and this absolutely helps you to avoid get scammed and keep your hardened money safe. Number one, avoid Slack channels at all costs. Besides getting spammed left and right, these Slack channels are the worst things because they got no protection, they get, they get hacked so easily. It was, I believe, Enigma that got hacked and uh, even Aventus got hacked as well, uh, their Slack, and we just got so many phishing messages to click on this or send money to, send money to them early and uh, you get a bigger bonus. So be very careful of Slack channels. Very high probability for them getting hacked and you get, the, the best case scenario, you get spammed left and right. So you want to stay away from it. And uh, number two is never click on links. What I mean? is myetherwallet.com sometimes they'll send you a link saying or email you a link saying your ether wallet has been hacked just log in to make sure it's okay everything looks good but they could change the actual uh, site that says my ether wallet but it's actually a different site that goes on there they could change the change the coding on it to go to another site and the, what the, what funny thing uh, it is when you press on my ether wallet it actually will look or another site it will actually look like the exact same replicated site. So you will never be able to know. Uh, but sometimes it's absolutely crazy because what they do is sometimes my Ether wallet, I even seen it at my Ether wallet with an A instead of an E or double L, one of us an I, is very subtle. So you got to be careful. If you want to go on a site, put it in your browser manually, never click on a link or a pop up. You're asking for trouble. Another point we're looking at to keeping you safe is do not keep your crypto coins on an exchange. I'm not going to go too much into this. Exchanges get hacked, exchanges go down, and there's a lot of things that could happen. Keep your coins on your own part on your own um, hardware wallet, which we talk about next. It's number four. Keep your coins on a Trezor, on a hard wallet. Keep your own private key. This is an absolute godsend. If you think it's valuable for you to keep your money in the bank or a safe, you absolutely need a treasure or a hard wallet because it is something that you absolutely need. If you cheap out on anything else in crypto, do not cheap out on a hardware wallet. Trust me on that. Here are some coins that we're going to go that I uh, looked. Actually, I was looking at coin market cap today, just seeing what are the biggest spikes. And I looked at the coin and I was like, oh, I coin. I'm like, wow, it's up 2,400% at one point. So I'm looking at this thing. Wow, this is crazy. When I look down, I looked at the chart. It's a classic example of a pump and dump. Where you see a spike, it goes straight to the moon. You know someone's pumping that thing to, to, uh, to, the, to the atmosphere. However, it's the poor people that get caught right at the top. And that thing's coming down. There's no liquidity. You can't sell it. Before you know it, your two Bitcoins worth nothing. Literally, point, point one. And uh, it's who wins? The pumpers. So be careful of these. It, you will not be able to lose a lot of money. Next one is Bitcoin gold. I might catch some slack for this. I'm not even, actually, I don't even know. It was nobody that ever talked good about Bitcoin gold. I believe it's a straight money grab. Why? Because they didn't have nothing before this happened. So they wanted to fork. They didn't have a good reason they wanted to fork. The only thing is they wanted to do an ICO, but they wanted to keep a portion of it to themselves, which sounded like a huge scam. And they didn't even put in thought people's replay protection. What replay protection does, it keeps you from sending Bitcoin or sending Bitcoin cash. You inadvertently send Bitcoin as well. So now your Bitcoin is gone. So replay protection was huge. They didn't even come up with that before they forked. So it tells me these guys are not about making a, a mining safer or make it, it's about mining. It's about money and straight money grab. Another one is stay away from hype, which is high yield investments, paying a couple percents a day. These could be huge downfalls. You can make really good money fast, but the poor guy that comes in after you will lose his shirt. And uh, you know what? That could be his family's money and you just don't want to get involved in that. Trust me on that. Uh, there was another post that talked about BitConnect and Vitalik's. Uh, he's a co-owner of, uh, founder of Ethereum. He made a point of 
if Bitcoin Act makes a percent a day, it must be a Ponzi. That's coming from Ethereum's founder. I'm not sure what to think about that. I'll leave that to you. I'm not here to make your decision for you. I'm just here to shed some light on what people are saying. Thanks for watching. I'm Crypto Mo. Subscribe to our YouTube show. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks and secrets. And make sure you, uh, you subscribe to my, uh, to my Twitter, Crypt the Crypto, Crypto Mo Show. And see you next time.